What's going on guys? Now before I carry on with the rest of this video, if you do want to pick up a copy of Cricket Coach 2014 for yourself, use the links down below in my description for an exclusive 10% discount. Right guys, today we are in, we're playing with the Sussex Sharks, we're playing against the Netherlands, and um, the good thing is we do have the man on strike now who is just at that full back. We've got Luke Wright back from international duty, um, so I'm pretty happy with that, so hopefully he can be the difference against this Netherlands 11 side, who we kind of do need to pick up a win against because um, they are breathing down our neck in second place in the one day trophy so hopefully we can go that's not ideal Nash goes for 13 and uh, now having to bring in the other guys so it's good to have right back um, but still missing obviously Panasar and Pryor due to international duty and it just doesn't it just hasn't seemed to work so far for the Sussex Sharks this season so hopefully Luke Wright can be the guy who is going to turn it around for us who is going to score a huge amount of runs hopefully he's going to contribute with the ball as well because at the moment with the bat no one really seems to be delivering which is a real shame I mean even Ed Joyce who was smashing it earlier in the season he hasn't been scoring runs Yardy's just gone and got himself out there so we have got a big bit of work to do here. Luke Wright is going to have to play an absolute stellar innings because we were absolutely cruising, but with those two wickets we have lost, we are now really struggling a little bit, especially with Hawkson, who is a new player, I guess, to the Sussex side. So hopefully he can go and cement his place in the middle order here today. I think I actually have Manny Matrim coming back into the side because even though he's in bad form, he's in better form than the other guys. So there we go. First 50 for Luke Wright this season, coming off 41 deliveries, and then he goes and gives his wicket away just like that there. So that is a bit of a pain. 87 for 4 off 13 overs. So the run rate's good. It's just those wickets in hand that we really need to keep a hold of and try and just get something going on. We're still... Well, we're, I mean, halfway now through, um, so it's going to look... Well, we're going to have to go and try and up the run rate a little bit. Matty Machen really struggling, 8 off 26. Today could be the day that Hawks and Machen, I'm pretty sure I've gone and put the mockers on them both, um, I was going to say could go and possibly look at picking up some good runs. But um, just like that, we lose Hawks. He did get his new highest score, but only 25 runs is going to be nowhere near enough. And we probably are going to struggle to get a competitive score now just with those licket, uh, sorry, those wickets we've lost so early on. My my words like this week have just been all over the place. I honestly do not know what's going on. Hopefully Beer and Gatlin can score us some runs. Six down. Again, I put the mockers on them. I wish Barassi and even the whole Netherlands side were as good as this in my Dutch domination career. I wish they could go on both sides out like this. It would make it so much easier. It would just help things along so much. So only eight overs left to go, and probably we are now going to struggle, considering the start we got. If we struggle to get to 200 here, I'm going to be rather disappointed. Because with the start we got, with the way Nash and Wright were going, we really should have gone and got a big score. So hopefully these two can dig in, then we're not even going to get anywhere near close to 200. What has happened? We were doing so well at the start of the season, and then everything has just turned to crap. The, the, the further we've gone on in the tournament, things have just gone badly. There's a good start. Nash picks up Myberg, so he's gone for one. Um, so that's a good start. Swart, we know how dangerous he can be, same as Tommy Cooper. So this is a big partnership for these guys here. So hopefully we can go and get that there. That could be the difference. Possibly that is the difference. Not having a specialist keeper in the side, having to use Gatling or someone else behind the stumps, could be what is costing us. Um, obviously, all those chances that are getting dropped, caught behind, um, could come back and haunt us. I mean, it's looking, it is looking like a pretty good batting pitch, and I think 180 off 40 overs is really not enough. And that's being shown at the moment by these two who have brought up their 50 partnership in next to no time. So we really do need something to go our way, there goes the captain, so he gets Joyce, uh, sorry, Joyce gets the catch of Cooper, as I said, I just cannot get my words right today at all, I'm shocking, I'm all over the place, Luke Wright, hopefully he can do something with the ball for us as well, we really have been missing, I guess, that guy, um, you know, maybe that fourth seamer, so hopefully he can go and get something done, only 107 needed for the Netherlands, so things aren't looking good. Let's bring in some spin. Hopefully spin can work for us. I'm pretty sure fielding restrictions are still on. But with the start that they've gone and got, it does make it very difficult leading in, even when those fielding restrictions have gone. They just need to nudge it around. There's Swartz. So that's the second time this year he has passed 50. 
um, which is surprising because such a dominant force for me um, in my Dutch domination series, but obviously not quite so much here. It's not spinning, so I'm a bit nervous to go and bring deer on. Um, I did, well, basically you had to use them because we are struggling for players, really struggling just to even get 11 on the park at the moment. So, and there we go. There's another chance it's gone down. So that is, I think that's two in this game now that Gatling has dropped. And how crucial could those two be? Because only 30-odd runs needed. Wright's bowled his eight. He's gone for 35. I didn't really work that out too well. I kind of got a bit carried away with those two, just getting them bowled out, because things were looking good. They were looking promising, but not quite the case. We're going to bring Miller back in. He was expensive in his first over, but I think the game now is probably dead and buried. Um, only 21 needed from 64. And as I said, looking dead and buried well and truly. Swart. He's not going to... He, oh, he could. He's 94 now. I was going to say he needs another 6. I was going to say he's not going to get his 100. He gets 97. So that's going to be the man of the match. No doubt for him. Yes, it is. 97 not out. And another loss for Sussex. And we'll see what that does for us. It moves us down to 4. So that was a big game, as I said. We were very close to Kent towards the top of the tree before that game. But obviously that loss now has taken us to 4-3, and three, which has really dropped us back down the table so we are going to have to pick it up come 2016 but anyway guys do hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please remember to leave a like if you are new please do subscribe make sure you check out my facebook and twitter links that can be found down below in the description make sure you tune in later tonight we've got fifa 16 wellington phoenix career mode final video of the year again guys thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed and make sure you don't miss tonight's video